Hi there everybody, it's Chloe in Japan and today I'm here in Hiroshima, Japan to check out a icon of Japanese culture. Just kidding, I'm actually at Costco today and if you're wondering, Chloe, why on earth are you going to Costco? There's tons of them in America. Well, I thought it would be really interesting to see the differences of something that I know so well like Costco and see what it would be like here in Japan. So, let's go check it out. All right guys, so I have my food. I got some cheese pizza. I got a hot dog, which are Costco classics. But then they had this item, which is a bulgogi beef bake. And I'm really excited to try that out. Bulgogi beef, if you don't know, it's Korean marinated beef and it's really, really good. So I think I'm gonna try the pizza first because that's what I always get from Costco. So I got a little bite right here. Mm. I haven't had Costco pizza in a long time, and this tastes exactly like the Costco pizza from home. It's no different. All right, I think I'm, I have a feeling the hot dog's gonna be similar. Let me have a little try. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's a pork hot dog. I don't always get the hot dogs from Costco, so I'm not sure how well it compares, but it tastes it tastes pretty American. And then I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this bulgogi beef wrap. I don't even know. So I'm gonna try cutting it. Oh, this looks good. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. This smells amazing. Okay, so let's try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is really, really good. It seems to just be bulgogi beef. It has little pieces of green onions in it. And then it's kind of like pizza crust on the outside. It's really, really tasty. I definitely recommend this. So I'm gonna finish eating now. <laughs> see they have a lot of Christmas decorations which is very similar to the Costco at home you see tons of Christmas decoration lots of toys and a lot of the aisles and the layout itself is very similar to the Costco's back in America as you can see they have even some Japanese candy in bulk and I think it's really cool because I mean they have Pocky which is really well known in America but some of these little strawberry chocolates that are really good and you can get them for about $14.98 and the biggest difference between uh, our Costco's back in America and the Costco's here in Japan is that they are really not crowded. Costco in America is super crowded and this is pretty much the least crowded I have ever seen at Costco so I would have to say that's the biggest difference but overall it's pretty much the same So 
So this aisle, however, has only Japanese foods, and I think it's really cool. Like they got sardines, and they've got seaweed, and just a bunch of Japanese sauces. Uh, here's some Japanese barbecue sauce, I think. Yeah, it's really cool. It's so interesting. Oh, here's a Hiroshima specialty. It's okonomiyaki sauce. And I think it's really cool that you can get that in bulk. And then what is this? What is this? Oh, it's dried little fish flakes. Oh, cool. Awesome. And as you can see, I, I like that they have like the Japanese version and then the English version. It's very it's helpful for tourists, which I noticed that there are a lot of Western tourists in Costco. And that's uh, kelp right there. I think it's, yeah, it's really cool. But again, this is the most quiet Costco I have ever been to. They also have the Costco classic rotisserie chickens, um, which I thought was interesting. They also have, it looks like, some garlic chicken wings and some beef garlic rice, which sounds so delicious. And then they have all the meat products and you can even see them cooking, all the preparing the meat and cooking the chickens, which I think is really cool, exactly like Costco back in America. And then they also have birthday cakes. And uh, let's see what they got. They have cheesecake, it looks like. These big cheesecakes, oh my gosh. And then they have birthday cakes. And it's cool because they have a little uh, Japanese writing on them. But they also have English. So you can pick, um, it's cool because they also have a, a little pack of candles tied onto it. So you can just pick up the cake and get everything you need in one stop. I think that's really clever. I wish they would do that put the cakes back home. It's really interesting because, I mean, this Costco has everything that Costco's back in America have. Like, it has all the medicine in this area, it has the pharmacy, and it also has the, like, the eye doctor, and even have the photo developing area. And I think it's really interesting. It literally feels like I am back in America. I mean, obviously, there are some Japanese products, like this obviously, uh, this dove right here. Um, interesting fact about Japan is that they usually only buy their bottles of like lotion and shampoo and body wash and then they get these bags and they just refill it. They refill the original bottle every, you know, when it runs out and so I think that's a really cool way to cut back on waste. And they also have their book selection, which I think is really awesome. This is more like games, but here we got some books over here, more kids' books. Um, and I think that's really cool. It's interesting because these are actually, like the titles are in English, and so are the books. Hmm. I didn't think they would be, so I think that's interesting. Actually, all of these books are in English. So that's interesting. I'm surprised. But here's some movies. And these, um, you can see, like, for instance, with, like, Frozen and uh, Secret Life of Pets. The titles are in Japanese. But I was really, I was really surprised about the books. I wasn't expecting those to be in English. I think that's really cool. But, like, these books, as you can see, are in Japanese. So these are, oh, it's like... <gasps> That's so cool. It's like the little um, like math workbooks. That's super awesome. It's super, really cool. And look, 
There's even no lines. This is unheard of for Costco. This is the most different thing about Costco is the lack of lines. All right, guys, so that was Costco in Hiroshima, Japan. Overall, I would have to say that it's very, very similar to the one here. In fact, it was kind of refreshing because I felt like I got a little taste of home because I often visit Costco and so I felt like I was back home in America like honestly besides the da the Japanese text everywhere I feel like you pretty much are getting a good authentic American experience when you visit Costco in Japan I would have to say that the food was really good it tasted exactly like you were home and I loved it I'm, I'm such a sucker for their cheese pizza and it tasted spot on. So I definitely think you should come to Costco while you're in Hiroshima. I know that there are a few other locations in Japan. I have to say I had a really great time. And there are also more Costco locations around the world. So if you happen to be in another country, check and see if there's a Costco and see how it compares to one in America. See if it's different. I'm curious. And if you've ever been to a Costco in another country, let me know because I would, I would like to know. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video just like this one. So I will see you all next time. Matane! Costco. I'll see you all next time. Shoot, I keep be, I'm like ready to be like stay spooky, but this is Costco. That's not scary. Um, so if you wait, no, we're not starting over.